How are you keeping tonight? I hope you're all well. We are piling in here at the American Grill, White Creek, center of the universe. So anyway, we are welcoming you to the 1775 Whiskey Passport. We've got my friend here, Tatty Peel. <laughs> Good evening. Neil Forbes. Peel, yeah. <laughs> and then behind the camera, we've got a uh, Gregor. Evening. Nanu, Nanu. So we'll all come here to join in and make sure this is off and have some good fun, enjoy some whiskey, and uh, learn some stuff about whiskey Absolutely. as well. Yeah. So, Neil, before we go any further, go and just give us a quick insight what the three whiskeys are uh, for tonight. Three whiskeys tonight, Graham. Uh, Tom and Tool, 16-year-old. Uh, Inch Murren from Loch Lomond. Uh, nothing, it's a... Uh, I'm just on the bottle here. No, it's, uh, it's not age statement. And we've got finished with uh, Lady from the Isle of Mull, Tober Mori in the Isle of Mull. That's the three we've so got So that song, yeah. I came down from the Isle of Mull. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> I came down from the Isle of Sky. That sounds very really good. I right. Isle of Harris. Oh, it could be, it could be Tweed, aye. Tweed Harris. I'm just saying hello to everybody. Here's uh, Andy Gahuli and his dad, Big John, Dolly and Pam. Welcome. Enjoy the drams. Good evening, Andy. Just remember, everybody, don't drink everything in one go. Drink responsibly and finish what's in your glass. Yes. That's it, you'd say. And the with wee glass Oh, no, he was in looking, it, his tongue it. was hanging out the day. He was wanting a cup of tea, tenants, when he was in here. So remember, folks, this is as much your show as our show here. We're wanting you guys to ask us some questions, test uh, Tatty Peel's knowledge, and, of course, if he gets it right, you have to buy him a whiskey, and if he gets it wrong, you have to buy me a whiskey. Does that sound good? That sounds good. That enough, sounds right? good. That sounds okay. We've got Mr. Brown over there at the Pfeiffer. The fly. Is it Ian Brown this time? Oh, we've got right I Ian Brown, the fly Pfeiffer. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather be a lifer yeah. than a Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer. Yep, yep, yep. So let's get your uh, your questions coming in thick and fast. And then last week we done a wee change of the guard, didn't we? We are one, two, and three in it now. So. We have three okay. different director's drams, just to make the, the variation. We've got a Springbank Castreth, 12-year-old, 55.3, to Atty Peel. Okay. Now we've got a nice Bunahabin. How do you pronounce that, Neil? Bunahabin. I was testing it. Um, how do you pronounce that? The bottom bit? Tutukta. That's the man. Okay. I don't get what it means. No, no, no. It means buy me a drink, Neil. It's a sealed bottle to your hand. <laughs> And then, of course, we're really letting the boat out tonight. We're going to get the uh, Singit uh, Glenmorangie. There we go. So that's the three of them. So what number are we going to go? Number one, number two, and number three. Can you see that? I don't know if the team can all see them here. Uh, Greg, I remember. Yeah. Back so it's been back number one. We're going to have a number two in Glenmorangie. Number three. That's perfect. Um, that's perfect. I, I don't know what I fancy tonight. Uh, it doesn't matter what I say. Need you bloody agree with me? Well, anyway. like I say it'll, it'll go know, a different. Yeah, you done that to me last week, so I'll go Glenn Moringer this week. That's it. Yeah, guys, we're just trying to vary it up because we're trying to make sure that you guys are wanting to purchase the distillers drama. It is a added, added extra, but it's like everything. It's still a good value, great value, and maybe something that you have always wanted to try but can't quite get round to buying the bottle. These are very affordable and a nice little quaff. Yes. Now, do we have any birthdays on the day, guys? Anybody's birthday? Anything special, Tatty Peel? No, it's not my birthday, no. It's no. not my birthday. Uh, Brian Johnston there, Stephen Johnston, uh, Susan Steven. in this. I know who it is. Susan. Brian Johnston, the pork chop maybe up there, and it's Sonny Pennycook. First timers on, I'm not sure tonight. And uh, I've got to apologise to Scott Watson, came round for a meeting the day with us, two o'clock. And of course, it was uh, going hell for leather here. Uh, I couldn't have my chat. Now, Scott's the lad that imports the, the, the casks oh, from yeah. Australia. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, I was looking to speak to him about getting some casks for putting some whiskey in. So, just before we get onto the good stuff, Tatty Peel, what exciting stuff's been happening this week? Nothing exciting this week at all. Next week, I'm getting excited about getting a haircut. Oh, oh, I'm really oh. excited. Hopefully, I can get that next week. But just been working on the membership for the the, the first of September. Yeah, just yeah. A, a lot of work going on into that. Getting the Glencairn glasses organised. Mm -hmm. We've actually got the proofs. They're looking fantastic uh, yeah. with our logo on the glass. So when you join, you'll get your 1775 engraved whisky a glass of her nosing, so that's fantastic. They're working on the drams and the packaging. Packaging is taking a lot of work. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, oh, it's something been... we didn't budget for uh, and time wise with packaging, but we'll get there. We'll be ready that's to it. rock and roll. And we've also met with Irina. Irina's probably on tonight, hopefully. 
Uh, she's going to be doing her social media and marketing for us. So look forward to meeting up with Irene on Tuesday on Zoom. I hasten to add. Zoom, Zoom, um, Zoom. So we'll be having a chat and getting the programme ready to get launched for the 1st of September. So uh, a lot of work. Busy, oh. busy, busy. People think I have an easy life, Graham. Just sitting and chasing and fisking three or four days a week. But uh, oh. it's a tough, tough life. It's a trust tough me. old life. It's a tough old life. Yeah, I mean, going back to the package and it's believe it, I know how difficult it's been to get the right product that we're all looking to get that fits in the post as well it won't it's break it's, it's just because she has a total uh, monkey uh, we're, we're getting there we're getting there we're getting there folks at least we're moving <laughs> forward we're going forward it's, it's looking good it's starting to really come together so uh, exciting exciting. Times. now if anybody's got questions remember you can text us i don't know if gregor's got the bits and bobs on almost. the text and, almost uh, almost uh, and uh, let me see if anybody's wanting to send me some stuff on the, the ipad let's make sure it's got oh, triple x yes and um, they send you stuff on the ipad do they? maybe i yeah, sometimes i get jamie thorne i've not seen jamie thorne in yet on mcmanus or the american boys anyway it's so early. that's early right anyway i don't want to hold things back this week neil I might have to dip away. I'm quite busy with customers. Guys, if I have to nip away, I'll come back. So yeah, well, you, just, if you've got to, just once for right. the we're, 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 we're off and running. I'm running, yeah. We'll get peace with you, I'm sure. Aye. Well, hopefully, everybody I'll be able to, will, I'll be able to concentrate then. And, uh, there's my brother from another <laughs> jump in, Johnny Walker there. Hey, and, of course, what technique do we use to... Well, some NASA damn thing. I can't NASA. Remember what it was. <laughs> was it the wasp or the swat or the bumblebee? Wasp, and the wasp is these women, isn't uh, it? Uh, 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 oh, aye, uh, the flights, uh, the, the flights. The, the old birds, pre-1960 or something. Is that, that what they are? They came, Your girlfriends. Aye. aye. <laughs> what about, so this week we need to have the special technique. What can the special technique be? Oh. You decide, because you'll have to decide that it doesn't matter what I try and do, you'll bloody well change it anyway. So it, it really doesn't matter. You tell us what we're doing, Graham. <laughs> what about that? How would that sound? No. No, we can't yeah. do. Yeah. Right, we've done the clap in the past. What about ooh, ooh? We've ooh, done that. Have, have we, we done been? that, have we? I don't know. Try it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's no come. Try it again. Ooh, ooh. Oh, here it is. That'll work. Yay! Ooh, ooh. Thank you, yeah, NASA. Thank you. How much are reading a book, mate? Ian Rankin about NASA and spacecraft and Zephyrs and God is all what know the cars for these Andy Galula, you're that age. So the first whiskey we've got of today is a Tom and Tool 16 year old. Mm -hmm. uh, Tom and Tool's a space idea, it's in Ballin Dallas, Ballin Dallas, uh, next to Glen Livet. Uh, it's, it's actually quite a new uh, distillery. I'm looking for hints here. Uh, I'm, I'm sure it's older than me. I'm sure it was opened in 1964. So it's considerably older than me. Mm -hmm. I was about 75 my date of birth or there or thereabouts. It's a 16-year-old. It's a nice wee starter at 40% alcohol, mm -hmm. alcohol by volume. Mikey boy from Canada, a, eh? Mike. First mission. How are we doing, bud? Hey, Mike, I hope your, uh, your wee drums are still lying in, uh, <laughs> in Spain, in Spain for, for you. you. <laughs> your wife's still drunk them or whoever's looking after your house in Spain. I hope they're still there. And when you get back out there, uh, give us a shout and we'll, we'll go in. We'll do another nosing with you. We'll get the video for that nosing particularly. So, uh, Tommy Tool, 16 year old, uh, we'll have a quick look at it. These glasses are different this week, they're heavier. Oh, they're quite a heavier glass. Uh, look at the color in the bottle, it's lovely, light golden, absolutely clear in the glass, just a, a little bit of color. Mm -hmm. So, that tells us it's uh, probably 99% sure. Um, Bourbon matured. Any fake ex, tan? Ex, no, any fake tan. Nah, I don't think so. No, I'm pretty sure. Very few do. I'm, I'm, in fact, my, my um, information for the day. All right, okay. Country's got about a chill, non-chilled chill filter. Chill filter. Chill filter. Aye, so aye. We're, we're going to talk about that a wee oh, bit good, today. Good. But it's quite an interesting modern day technique, but we'll cover that later. All right, so we're going to have a wee look at the Tom and Tool. It's nice and light coloured. Bourbon matured, again, if you remember. There's a few of us tuning in regularly. You'll uh, remember... It's going to give us vanilla, so you know that right away. So your mm -hmm. mind should be nice and open. After listening to the drivel from him right enough this evening, your minds are probably closed off, or maybe just your ears are closed off. I don't know about people are talking about. Who are you talking about? Anyway, give me your glass of sugar. We we'll roll with the glass. And what are we oh, looking for? We're looking for Graham's legs. 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 Loves the legs. legs. Loves the legs. So we have a quick look at that, and the legs are very quick coming down there. Really, really quick. quick so that, that tells us it's really light. But is it delicate or is it smoky? So we'll have a quick nose at it, remember? Mm -hmm. Quick nose, absolutely no smoke there. So, Graham, have we got the rich and poor? Yes, here we go. We've got the 
poor side, which is me. I've just seen Scott's just there. Then we were just talking about you, Scott. Your ears must have been burning. Uh, and we've got the, the rich. The, the, the rich and the poor. Uh, the, the light, rather. I'm, I'm saying poor in the woods. Oh, well. he's picking on me, folks. <laughs> picking on me. Smoke it in delicate. There's no smoke, so it comes below the line. Delicate. The legs are really, really quick. So that tells you the quicker the legs, the lighter the colour, light and delicate it is. So this is going to be sitting way, way down in that, that bottom left hand corner, that quarter there. Right so, away. So, you know, I don't expect it to be much different mm. to a Glen, a Glen Kinche, to a Dal Pinney, to a Glen Lussie. Oh, wow. That's just real off the top of my head. I know we've tasted and nosed here again. Right. So take it back to their nose, and right away, yeah, you get the vanilla coming through there right away. Oh, that's, that's nice. It's, it's actually quite nutty. Like, eh. It's quite nutty. There's a bit of hazelnut. Nuts, nuts, so oh, hazelnuts. You can only make it just salmon, then, no? Uh, no. <laughs> you, you he's on that, the vanilla. A bit citrus coming through. Yeah, I, I, I think it's quite lemony, actually, this mm -hmm. one. A, a wee bit of lemon. Cut grass. Hey, sort of floral cut grass. Yeah, four or five things coming hey. through. Yeah, certainly <laughs> vanilla. Is. Vanilla is really, really strong in this one, as is the nuttiness, which is quite unusual, in my opinion, for um, a bourbon mature. Normally, you didn't get the nuts. It's usually coming the, the, the double matured when you get some nuts. But, uh, All right. hey but hazel nuts are there. Jim. Nuts, nuts, oh, hazel nuts. We've got Mr. Duron. Craig Jure's joined us tonight. Hey, aye, aye. I haven't seen you for a long, long oh, time. Oh, I know. He likes aye. his uh, Mortlach. Aye. Feel the retire. Oh, wait a minute. Aye, yes, the amount of years he's worked in, the fortunes he's earned over the years. Aye. He's emigrated from J uh, Jamaica to Jamaica. White Craig. <laughs> 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 Where were we? I mean, right. up the nose. Yeah, so we've got quite a bit there. We've got the hazelnut, we've got the vanilla. Nuts, nuts, some nuts, lemon, nuts. Citrus, uh, lemon. It's nice. Yeah, cut grass, hay, a bit floral. <laughs> pretty, pretty nice. Uh, nice and light, delicate. Sorry, so we've got leafy, green notes. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm getting all these confused me already. We'll, we'll have a taste before we put water in. <laughs> so we've got a little bit of taste in the palate. Oh, the first. First impressions that is really, really good. The nuts, nothing that hits me first, and it's like almonds actually now. No hazelnuts. Hats, nuts, oh, hazelnuts. Vanilla, mm -hmm. a bit spicy coming through. Apples. What kind of apples? Green apples. Green apples. Actually, pear. I can't believe ah, pear. Ah, a bit peary, we have pear, and I'm going to have another wee taste. Just. Mm. Mm. Yeah, a lot of them. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what actually comes through there just now. Custard, 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 custard. I think you've got a bit in your chin. Have I? <laughs> 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 yep, yep. A bit of custard, pears, apples, really fruity, uh, a bit spicy, mm -hmm. nutty. It's like almonds, or as opposed to the hazelnut on the nose. It's quite different. It's it's, it's amazing how the. the the palate differs to the nose mm -hmm. on that. So, yeah, we're going to put a bit of water in it now. And put it in agua. You, you won't see that close. Uh, right here. Yeah, I'll put He's water feeling here. generous tonight. He's uh, assisting me. I always do it the first one. I get fed up looking after them. Yeah. So give it a wee shake about. Take it back to your nose. And it has smoothened it. it was, I think it was very smooth. A 16-year-old right enough. It's uh, an entitlement to be pretty smooth. Uh, matured in 16 years. And, and, I, and I have said, I'm going to contradict myself here, Graham, because I have said before, Dal Pinny is, is one. 15 years in the, the bourbon cask, mm -hmm. I think the vanilla becomes very dry. Right, right, got you. It just catches the short finish. But the finish in this will be a bit longer. It's a, it's a sort of medium finish. Mm -hmm. So you didn't get that sharpness there, and you're getting a lot of the fruits to come through, which is really nice. So take it back to your nose, and it's nice and smooth again. Mm -hmm. Vanilla, cut grass. Yeah, yeah. Nutness is gone. Absolutely no that is. And I would say it's almost like a custard now on the nose with just a touch oh. of water. So coming from the palate without water to on the nose with a touch of water, I think this is going to be quite impressive with water. Aye, it's a nice wee uh, go to. Spicy. Mm -hmm. Again, that hits you a bit. Um, you've got that without the water. Vanilla definitely coming mm -hmm. through there. Apples now coming through. Yeah, I, I would say it's, it's like a, a, a yeah, yeah. apple crumble without the crumble, just chewed apples. Right, sort of thing. Right. Yeah, and that's actually a fantastic drum. I, I'm really, really enjoying that. The 16 year old, as I say, normally, and a board matured, I would say 15 maximum. I've just uh, 
correct myself, it's the first time I've uh, tasted Tom and Jules, so yeah, it yep, I, nice I think it's uh, absolutely beautiful. I don't know what anybody else thinks, it'd be interesting to see if anybody puts on the screen what, what their views are, if you've got any of these, because I think for Bob Mature, there's a lot going on in that. It's unusual mm-hmm. to get the nuts, and unusual to get different fruits. It's usually quite strict on the, the cut grass, the vanilla, the, 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 the citrus sort of thing. Uh, it's a wee bit there. That, that, that's maybe my mother phoned him next time. Aye, aye, aye. But, uh, no, Tom and Joe, 16 year old, absolutely fantastic. Really, really enjoyed that. Really worthwhile. Uh, that's certainly yeah, yeah. a seal of approval there. <laughs> 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 I've got to go and find my phone, by the way. I can't find my phone because Jamie Thorne usually tries to get in touch with me. I'll help him get the second one and then uh, I'll, yeah. I'll come off and get my phone. We'll get the second one then. I was, what we're doing? In- what was it? <laughs> No, what is that? Oh, look how fast that came. Sure. Maybe we've got too loud there. Maybe, Aye, maybe, maybe the, the satellite's uh, low and itself down enough, on the spectrum. Enough, 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 one, two, three. Uh, just going back to the director's drums, it's uh, Spring Bank. If anybody's voted yet, if you're not voted, get your votes in. I don't know if they can see them. That's Bank, more 12 year old. Uh, it's a nice dark colour. It's almost a double matured Campbellton. Uh, 55.3% alcohol by volume. Bunahavan, and I can't, can't even see it, I can't remember what it was. Totakada, Totakada. Uh, if anybody cares what that is in English, from the uh, Gaelic. You're a daft, eh? 46.3 on so the, 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 the... And I look at this, Glenn Morangy Signet. Mm. I think I've had it before, I'm not 100% yeah, sure. Yeah. I'm probably just talking rubbish, but uh, it's quite an interesting one, and it's a coloured bottle, so I don't know what's oh. in that. Doesn't tell us. Forty-six percent there, guys. Yeah. It's uh, it's a cracker. Num- so. Number two today is from Loch Lomond Distillery. It's mm-hmm. called Inch uh, It's a twelve. I thought it was an age. It's actually a twelve year old. I can see it's just a, a small a dark green label with twelve. It's a forty-six percent alcohol by volume. It's quite an old distillery, eighteen fourteen. I'm sure Loch Lomond uh, Distillery claims to have the one of the oldest, if not mm-hmm. the oldest, uh, dating back to six, no, 16, 17, 1740, 1760 or there or thereabouts. Glen is the oldest operating one. That's where the 1775 comes yes. from. Yes. But this is before that. Lindor's Abbey uh, in, in somewhere in Fife, Newborough. Uh-huh. In Fife. Scott uh, knows. Uh, Scott yeah. Watson's pals were. Uh, Lindor's Abbey. They claim to be the oldest one, but there, there's no real origin to that. So I, I, a little something, little mill or something. Little mill. Is little, little mill is, is it's in the, the exotic place of Loch Lomond oh. uh, called Alexandria. You know, you, could you think of a worse town to be in Rundabout, the beauty of Rundabout Loch Lomond, and it's based in Alexandria. Those of you who don't know, Inchmurran is an island. Uh, is that the one that's up for sale? No. Because uh, there was one in Loch Lomond that's up for sale. It, no, I don't think it's Inchmurran. Uh, Inchmurran is actually the largest freshwater uh, Island ah, in UK, right, right, right. Uh, right in the middle of Loch Lomond. You can get a boat and you can camp right. on it, sort of thing. Stay there. Anyway, we digress. It lo- looks a lovely colour here. Uh, double matured. It doesn't tell us that, but I certainly say there's a hint of sherry, and hopefully we'll get that on the nose and the palate. So, yep, let's have a wee look at this. Let's have a wee look. I'm just. I managed it to comes on the phone. It comes under a Highland. Here comes the Highland granny. Well, thanks, Neil. It's quite alright, Neil. I'm feeling generous to you tonight. Oh, he's spoiling me. I see pork chops on, daddy's on. Oh, he's, a, he's worked out the technology. Yeah, he's found out the technology, aye. Uh, so we're having a wee look at the glass here. Yeah, the inch more on. It's a nice dark, real sort of dark golden, rich golden colour. So it's indicating to me it's probably a sherry matured as well. Uh, double matured. Mm. Remember, 95% of all single malt whiskies spend some of their time in a bourbon cask. So mm-hmm. it can be all in all the, 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 the maturation of the bourbon. Or a certain period of time, and they mix it to a, a sherry finish, pork finish, matured. It's roughly about eighteen months, I think, is the yeah, difference. Yeah. And in under eighteen months is a finish. Over eighteen months, is matured. I'm not con- convinced in that. So we've got to have a wee roll at the glass. And legs are quite slow there, actually. It's, it's oh, slow there. legs. Slow legs, nice legs, but they're nice and slow, nice and thick there. Coming down there. Absolutely oh. Again, we don't know if there's any uh, peat in it, so we'll have a wee look now. Mm. No peat, no smoking that. Oh, that's quite an interesting nose. That is, that is. So, uh, have we got have a look at the rich and poor? Oh, the rich and poor, <laughs> and the poor, he's a rich. So, it's, it's really rich. On, on the first nose, you get the richness here, so I would say it's coming right over. Mm-hmm. There's no smoke. It's certainly the, the, the legs are um, very slow, so it's not going to be delicate. It's coming away from the light over to the rich. I would say you're coming halfway to the rich, again, on the halfway line here. 
So you're not hitting any smoke at all, and you're not going into the like. If, if anything, you're just going to be under the half your line. But I would say you're half your across here. Really, really good. And I like Arthur Ferry, as most of you know now, uh, my, my share of matured. So it's coming into there. Take it to your nose. The first thing I get is buttery. Mm. Really buttery. Caramel. Yeah, so it's telling me that's, there is sherry in that. The minute you get the caramel, it comes away from the bourbon and mature. And the longer it's been mm -hmm. in there, and the sherry, I get the, the caramel right, right. coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at believe this. Nutty. Oh, nuts, nuts, oh, hazelnuts. 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 <laughs> Buttery. There's some apples coming through there. What type of apples, do we ask? Red apples. Oh. I don't know. I'm always saying that just to know you. It's apple. I think, yeah, it's, it's a sweetness. It's a sweetness of apple I'm getting. So it's a wee bit. I'll, I'll tell you what. I'm going to be really bizarre here. Oh. A pineapple. <laughs> ah, I'm not <laughs> going to get involved in that. Uh, colour apple. It's a pineapple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Green apple. Ah, there's no green apple. Red apples. Maybe it's the sweetness of, it's of a pineapple. You get that sweet. sweet. Yeah, you get that deal. Almost like white chocolate. Mr. Blackwood's arrived from the United States. Maybe chocolate coming through there. That's actually a really, really nice nose as well. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. it's a Loch Lomond Distillery. I don't I know Alexandria roughly, but you just bypass it. Uh, Balak and Alexandria on the way up to... Um, Loch Lomond side. Uh -huh. fact, I'm sure I played Wales and Rangers uh, junior football. There was a, a junior football side in Alexandria. I'm oh, sure was it? The Scottish Cup there at one uh -huh. time. Yeah, big old rundown stadium. So anyway, nice. we're, we're going back to the nose here. We've got some really nice nose in aromas going in there. Absolutely first class. Yeah, yeah. Have a little taste. This is the best bit. I didn't put enough in my glass here again. Well, <laughs> that's just... uh, nice. Mm. Honey. What is it, sweetheart? <laughs> Honey. Honey. Uh, uh, Caramel. Uh, uh, uh. It's like marmalade. Orange peel and marmalade. Patty peel. <laughs> Dried fruit coming through now. Oh. No smoke. Yeah, the dry fruit. Sultanas. Almost like grapes. Grapes. I'm getting worse. I'm having two tastes of everyone now. Mm-hmm. Do you know what noise a grape makes if you squash it? No, I don't know what noise a grape a makes. A little makes. wine. <laughs> Boom, that one's for free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very, very dry fruit, sultanas, even even grapes. But the, 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 there's, yeah, pineapple's definitely there. It's, it's yeah. a, a real sweet, sweet. Uh, yeah. nice, nice sweetness coming to it. Caramel, toffee. Yeah, I think that's what I'm getting from it. I, I, I quite like that as well. I do. I think I that's very pleasant. Yeah. Uh, I was excited to try this. I've got to see. Well, you hold up to the light and just. Oh, you can see can that. See that right, right. Yeah. Thanks, Neil. Oh, oh you could definitely. Oh, yeah. I. Mm. Back to the nose on this one. That's perfect. Absolutely beautiful. Caramel, honey. Uh, 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 orange, uh, uh. <laughs> orange peel. Caramel peel. It's nice. I'm liking that. Liking the, 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 that. The, the pineapple seems to be a bit more like tropical fruits. <laughs> a fruit salad, a tin of fruit a, salad. A fruit and nut case. Fruit and nut case. <laughs> like, ah, you, you, you know, this, this is quite interesting. So I'm, I'm really liking it. If, if I'm trying to re relate to a sweet, chewits. You know the chewits, sweetie? The tropical fruit chewits. That, that's... Did they not change the name of them or something oh, like that? Maybe, was, I don't know. Like, maybe blackjacks or something like that. Or, or the other no, fruit no, ones, liquor, the, fruit, the, the fruit salads. Salad, salad. salad. aye, aye. Or chew it. The chew it. Like a mojo. But, yeah, yeah. it's like a, a, a tropical fruit of theme. Yeah. That's absolutely gorgeous. That, it's nice, That's, right? Yeah. Let's, let's have another piece. Jeremy Blackwood knows a mojo. Well, yeah, that's... that's Oh, that's tremendous. well, well, well. Wait, what, There's a bit more tremendous. going on there. Yeah, the orange marmalade, oh. the caramel. I wasn't expecting that. I've got to say, Butter, I thought. Buttery. Oh. It, there, there's, there's, it, now, the interesting part here, it's more like the grapes and the dry fruits, the sultanas now, with a touch of water, just mm -hmm, mm -hmm. almost freshens it for me. It's interesting, though. There's not many people commenting on it, or maybe you're just... No, I think everybody's it. sleeping. It's um, maybe my mojo's a bit <laughs> flat, and everybody else is flat. Certainly tropical fruit, fruits coming through there. As I say, like the tropical fruit chew it. 
these sort of chewy sweet is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I said that. That is a real, real fantastic that's whiskey. It. And smurring, uh, I'm, I'm sure Loch Lomond, I'm trying to think who owns it now. It's been bought over, it's, it's, it's changed. Just, yeah. One of the top guys were in here a couple of weeks or months ago before close down, and he was going to get in touch with me, but of course he never. No, I can't must have known how it. important we are. Um, but uh, yeah, it's uh, they only do a couple of expressions actually. They do yeah. Loch Lomond. A single malt and the Judin Schmur and is the specific When you go sponsoring the uh, <laughs> Jeremy Black was just said Mojo suspended them for a year, but that's an in-house joke. Oh, right. okay, um, yeah, it was uh, they were sponsoring the golf, are they not? Are they? There was something that they were doing that was on the bottles, but uh, well, yeah, they'd probably be involved with Lockwood Golf Club, yeah, the private golf was, club there. Yeah, I think but, yeah, that's, I think that's an absolutely fantastic that's bit of That was really, really tasty. Have any, any votes? If any votes There's coming not, in for the directors, oh, Gregor's oh, well one. done, GZ. Oh, it's it's easy for the taking. Right, it's there. Right. Got the apples right away. That's all right. Like hey, guys, I'm going to have to step out for a couple of minutes. I think we've got some problems. Right, we'll need to go into. Um, how did we get? I used to totally confused me now. Uh, woo -hoo, woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Number three bottle, whatever it is. Woohoo! Oh, Christ, I need them. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Perfect. Bloody egg. No, I don't even have to think about this one because it's actually got the, the year on, on the bottle 1798. It's uh, Isla Mull. It's in uh, Tobin Mori in Isla Mull. And it's a lovely colour, not as dark as the. <laughs> I'm just looking at the side of it. <laughs> I've got a guest coming to see me, and it's lovely to see him. I've not seen him for a while. I used to get bumped into him quite regular on Friday mornings. <laughs> so, Tober Mori and the Ailey Mull, I can only apologise for the laughter. I'm getting distracted completely. Right? I didn't know what it is. Graham, about. Graham, he gives, us, he gives a wee hand to you. <laughs> <laughs> a Sunday. Bonjour, mon ami. <laughs> C'est Jean-Luc. I am in search of good Jean-Luc, how are you? I am well, my friend. How are you? Can I come on to the set? Absolutely. I've not seen you since oh, a wee while ago. Yes, but I've been uh, busy. I've been magician, yes. And I have been around the world looking for good food. But I come here, you do whiskey, Nespa. Aye, very yeah, good. Whiskey, what yeah. uh, what whiskey you do today? We're doing a Tobermory whiskey, John Luke. Ah, c'est bon, c'est bon. I know Tobermory, the uh, the program, uh, Balamore story, Tobermory, n'est-ce pas? You get that in Las Vegas? Si, si, yes. I, I, I'm a big fan, big fan. You're the only Frenchman in Las Vegas, are you? Uh, there's two, there's three of us, c'est deux personnes. <laughs> deux, <laughs> three of us, yes, <laughs> quatre, ans, quatre, cinq. But, uh, oh, mon ami, who's this Blackwood? Scotty Tahoti Watson. Anyway, I am here to learn. You you teach me, no? <laughs> in English or in French? Comme tu veux. Je parle la français. Je parle de Scottish. Je parle de American. Je parle Australian. Trenin? Trenin. Oui, oui. Okay, oui, oui. We'll do it in Trenin. I yes. don't normally do. Monsieur Brown, bonjour, bonjour. <laughs> okay. We've got the lady from Tobermory uh, on Isle Mall. Looks lovely, 1798, uh, and it's owned by Distill, oh. a company based in London, who actually own Guna oui. Haven and Deanston, if I remember Deanston, correctly. Deanston, c'est vrai. That is true, my friend. So I've not tried this before. It's, it's, it's supposed to be classed as heavy peat, heavy smoke. You're on the TV. You're on TV. <laughs> How is that? No? No? No, it's the colour of your glasses. Oh, Don't I thought you glasses. were here with the friends. But can I, oh yes. yes, oh I like the little hip flask thing. Vroom vroom. Oh, when do you go back to Las Vegas? I go back or tomorrow. Are you, going to, are you going to Paris first? I have my special jet fueled up. Oh. I thought it's you wanted to learn. I do, I do. Take your time, man. Take your time, settle down, oh, calm down. Tranquil, tranquil. When did you arrive? I arrived uh, this morning. I came in my private jet and uh, I came uh, looking for good food. And, uh, well, in, the wrong place at the in, in Scotland, <laughs> the, the best place to go in this part is yeah, uh, the yeah. Meerkat, yes. Oh, so, the best place in, in Scotland. Yes, and the, the world, I hear, no. I hear. So I'm Good pleased to be here. Blakey. 
I, I, I know Mr. Blakey. I never meet him. I see him on TV. He's always on TV. He's on BBC, ITV. But uh, when I look for him, no, no, I never see him. Anyway, you tell me. I you think, tell I, me. I think he got arrested there. I said he was busy. Oh. But I, I think I saw a couple of police officers there. So he's maybe just been uh, taken away. It's possible. It's so, possible. Yeah. He's a movie, he's born. <laughs> so anyway, Lady, we're having a wee look at it. It's not as dark as Inch Murren, but it, it tells us there's probably a second influence here. It's a, a lot darker than uh, the, the Tom, and Tool, Tom and Tool was. Uh, so we have a look at there and roll the glass on the side. I'm breaking my concentration here. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> the legs are pretty slow there. I've got four or five coming down. Nice coming down mm. there. If you've, got, if you've got a nice um, Glen Cairn. But remember, if you've not got Glen Cairns, it's now as of the 1st of September. We? We, you, do you know about membership? No, no tell me. Just, tell me. I listen probably... in. Listen in. Listen in, and you'll understand. I'll I'd be sponsor. I'd be yeah. major sponsor. Yeah, major sponsor. Uh, and the Glen Cairn, yeah, actually, this is it's a specific nosing glass. So for members after the 1st of September, for a £25 membership, you'll get the Glen Cairn glass, so you can actually uh -huh. appreciate what we're talking about, the legs, if you don't already. Have yes, them. yes. I'm so the legs, uh, Graham's not here. John Luke will not understand the flavour nice map. So nice we'll, just, we'll just ignore the flavour map just now. So we'll have a quick nose at it. And right away you get the peat. So the colour, the slow legs, if you can remember the, the, the poor side, as John Luke's very rich, obviously. So yes, I have a book of the, book the money. In with his private jet. Yes, so we on, on the rich side, not the light side, and you can smell the smoke, so it goes into the... Oh, the there's a fire, up, I think. Up on the high right, right the, <laughs> the high, high right-hand mm. side of the flavour map, the, the top right-hand corner uh, from there. So on the, the, the nose, right away, you get the... the the peat, it's almost like cigar smoke. Oh, oh, oh cigar. I like cigar. And I know polish. Well. It, you know, it's like a waxy, mm. waxy polish. Crisot. You know, he's, he's like paint your fence with a bit of crisot. I did paint my fence. I have a man that did it for me. <laughs> dry, dried fruit coming through. Oh. Dried fruit. But I, mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting some caramel honey now, but not enough a lot. The peat's actually disguised that quite well. Mm. But it's not a heavy peat. I, hope you can yeah, I could pick him up. But I've got the peat and the smoke. Uh, I'll tell you what's coming through there. Almost like a, a peppermint, like a mint coming through. A little minty. Mm -hmm. Wee wee. Very, very faint in the background, but yeah, there's something like that coming through. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting one. It, it, it seems to lack a little bit in the nose, but let's have a wee taste. Oh, very pleasant. Again, the the oh. peat hits you very, very oh. quickly. It's hot. But nice. <laughs> sweetness. Really sweet. Mm. Right fruit sweetness. Real caramely toffee. Rich. Rich toffee, rich caramel. Bit spicy. Almost like a chili. No, oh, chili with it. Chili. Yep. Dry fruits now. Dry fruit. Yeah, sultanas, raisins coming through. Oh. Again, very Christmas cakey. And, and whilst the nose was quite peaty, quite smoky. Not a lot there. The fruit actually takes over on, on the, the Ladeg. It hits you, the, the peat, the smoke hits you right away. Mm. Then very quickly overtaken by the dried fruit, the sweetness, the honey, the caramel. Yes. Let's have a wee look in the light. Mm. Pine oil, dried fruits, nuts. Thank you. Is this what you do? This is what you Where's do. Where's the rest of it? <laughs> You've drunk it, man. Ah. <laughs> we'll take it back to the nose, we'll touch of water. Uh, it's a bit peppery now. A wee hint of salt, almost a. Uh, I know salt and pepper. Marines push it real food. good, no? Not What's the people. The people that sing. The chili, dried fruit. Mm. <laughs> this is getting worse. What is wrong? <laughs> the dried fruit, the, the sultanas, raisins, definitely. Caramel. It's not as sweet now, actually, but the water takes a lot of the sweetness out of it. Whereas before on the, the palate, the with, with the, the without water, it really the sweetness hit you as mm. soon as you, you took it. The, the wee mm. bit peat, wee bit smoke, then bang! Uh, I got the the, the the sweetness coming through it. But let's have another. Yes, it reminds me of Chateau Neuf de Pap. I like that. I like these. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. With, with the water, uh, the, the sweetness is there. Caramel, honey. Yes. With a spice, a bit chilly coming through it. Mm -hmm. uh, dried fruit. 
no, it's no pepper. Any the saltness, saltiness goes away. Pepper goes away. Mm -hmm. Very, very fruity, dry fruit, honey, caramel. We hint the chili, like a bit chili chocolate for me. You know, you get that sort of chili chocolate. It's like that. That's that's absolutely one of the best. You uh, like that? Yeah, I do. Mm, it's a bon John Luc. He, he like, he like. I probably buy the distillery. I go and <laughs> yeah, buy it again. <laughs> just on the second sit there. Yeah, the peat hits you. Three, four seconds later, the sweetness comes in, the caramel, the toffee, um, and, and a wee bit of bite of the spices, the chilli mm. coming through now. Mm. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's absolutely wonderful. It a is. real, real wonderful. Jean-Luc, it's far better than your cognac. Oh, your your cognac! Um, not a patch on uh, those, those Scotch whiskey. Your stuff did, from there. Uh, and your wines, are, your wines are okay, but I do prefer a like, Spanish uh, wine. The, the Bucky wine. Bucky Fast? Do you like Bucky Fast? Oh, Bucky Fast. Yes. Bucky Fast. Bucky fast. fast yeah, yes, that's good, like, uh, Chateau. Apparently it's very popular now in Paris. Ah, oh, it's oh, a big? Yeah. No, yeah. je ne sais pas. Champs-Elysees people. Ah, like, the Champs-Elysees. The beautiful people are on the Bucky Fast now. Very expensive, n'est-ce pas? People like pity. I, I need to find this Absolutely pity man. What was going to tell you about the, the chill filter? I think that's quite an interesting one uh, as a fact of the day. Uh, it, it's only going back about 25, 30 years, if that. Whereas whiskey, generally, because of the natural oils, we were talking about that, and it, it, it's more so in the double mature. But the natural oils, if you put a bit of ice in it and a bit of water into it, it clouds over. Mm -hmm. uh, and in modern society, a few years ago, they decided aesthetically. It wasn't very nice. It was a, like a discoloration of it. But all it was was the water and the, the, the cooling was, was, was the, the natural oils clouding over. So what they do is, uh, just at the bottom stage from the, the, the cask, they actually freeze it down to zero. Oh. Degrees, and they do it with blended more so. Oh. Uh, because the foreign market, uh, your market in the France. Market, uh, your, 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 your French, well, I know you're in Las Vegas now. Is a yes, it is. But uh, oh, American market as well. Mr. Trump, Mr. Trump, mon, mon ami, I have to go. My friend is here for me. Au revoir, à bientôt, à tout de l'heure. was at zero degrees, yeah. Blended, they've got to really chill it down, freeze it to about minus four. And what it does is it just it draws the oils, it opens the oils, and when you put your water and your ice in, it's a crystal clear colour in your whiskey. So I, I, I wouldn't say most whiskies, a lot of whiskies a chill filter now it doesn't impact on the flavor doesn't impact on anything else uh, but a lot of the, the older distilleries the, the traditional ones take great pride in saying it's non-chill filtered as opposed to chill filtered uh, and you get that uh, it is coming back again so the cloudiness is is more acceptable but for a long time it wasn't so if you need chill filtered or non-chill filtered on your bottle that's all it is if it's a uh, non-chill filtered you put a touch of water touch of ice in you uh, may get a bit cloudiness but it doesn't impact on the flavour at all it's just the aesthetics purely to look at and if it is chill filtered it will be a bit crystal clear and straightforward from there um so that, that's the difference between chill filtered and non-chill filtered anybody else wants to know on the facebook page stick a wee question on in due course and i'll answer it either later tonight or tomorrow oh mr blake has always got bail from the police station <laughs> i know um, some it, bam pot walking yeah. about there. I've just had to chase some, but anyway. Uh, John, look what I'm looking for you. Oh, the guy's a nutter. Absolute yeah. nutter. Aye. He tells people that he owns the place. He does? Oh, nice. Are oh, you rented from him, I heard? Well, I see, exactly. Yeah. Just yeah. do not believe anything you hear from a John Luke man. He <laughs> pretends to be a comedian or a, a magician, but uh, 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 uh. So, so anyway, I'm glad so, he's away. Uh, so do you want a wee taste of the Ladig? Please, Is please. One I think he's left. He, he's... <laughs> It's all right. He's no sleep. Well, he did sleep a wee bit. Very He was sleeping all the time. He was I know, probably. He was constant sleeping. But uh, no, it's, it's a nice Lede. It's absolutely fantastic. So how's the vote going for this so-called director's dram? Nothing at all? Oh, that's what is it, Gregors? Number three. <coughs> number three? So oh, this one. Number three. What is that, number three? No, it was number one. Oh, they've got yeah. expensive taste, I guess. It's expensive taste. Yeah, so yeah that's good. Open the... Is it, we had that bit already in the night. Oh, we've really right. fired through things tonight. We must have been on our best signal. behavior. Ooh. I know. Ooh. Got a few Ooh. folk I know that love coming in for that one. Yeah. But see I if bet. anybody's been texting me. I better be very, very careful on the phone. Right? Oh. You'll be wanting a taste, yeah? I may as well. Ooh. Fruit salads and chewets. Sunday's going yeah, on. Yeah, that's a fruit salad, right? Eh? Eh? That's it. She's even the 
Aye. So Glenburn is up in teen. It's a Highlands whiskey teen just and off the Inverness. We had uh, uh, we had Dr. Lassan. Bill. Aye, we had Dr. Bill on. Uh, last was it last week or two weeks ago we had the uh, Glenburn and Lasanta. That's right. Which I like the share matured. I've really really enjoyed that. That yeah, was a yeah, really nice yeah. one. Um, I might have to be dropped me in the glass to get a colour in this game. Sorry. <laughs> If it's nice to me, he lets me take a, this one away home as well. I forget everything right away. Oh, there. so well no, the bottle, I just get a wee drama at that simple. So, sorry, I, my habit is I just always knows a, a whiskey rather than put them. Thing. So, it, um, I don't know much about the signet. I know it's it's an expensive whiskey. It, it's a, it's a, a real, sort of, a, I think it's for the export market predominantly mm -hmm. um, on the, the Glen Mullinge expressions. It is gets a lot of good reviews about it oh absolutely so, you, if you just you know what actually feel the the weight in yeah, that just, bottle we actually feel it in the cup realm just it's it's, it's it's class it's class so look at that color really really dark nice so i'm expecting some real nice nose aromas and flavors mm. from this one at the price of a bottle i reckon it must be a hundred pound a bottle for this to be honest with you. Ah, it's probably probably more than the, that. the back side of it yeah it'll be probably more get that. a good deal here <laughs> that means that means it is more than that if he's uh, <laughs> you'll probably get a, a good deal here now that how the much pubs is, are just about opened here how much is it here Graham? it's uh, it? about probably 10 pound a nip here but oh, if you were to go up town it would be a lot more than yeah, that so yeah i would I'd certainly say it's over 100 pound a bottle but on the color you can see the double maturation here it looks absolutely lovely. I like that that rich colour, as most of you know. Mm -hmm. The legs are really slow, really thick, really oily. So that's going to take us over to the rich hand side, not to the poor side. John, look in my so side, the rich what side, side the, not the, Graham's the, side. So where, where would it be? It's going to come over here. I'll well, need knows it first. And I smell the bottle. There, there's absolutely no smoke in that. So it's coming right over to the, the, the rich hand side, halfway. And it must sit in the halfway line as well because it really is rich. There's no lightness, no delicate. Uh, legs, mm -hmm. nose in it, it's uh, that really is a nice nose. So, yep, first class on the right hand side, half your lingram. You can drop it from there now. You're sitting there with somebody winding you. Robert, <laughs> yep, absolutely. Ari, commercial, she knows exactly what I'm laughing at. Yes, he knows okay, that. Right, it's, almost, anyway. it's almost not for public consumption. No, no, no. But, right, okay. Just a daft question. Davy Pringle was asking about Ladeg. Where about would it be on the rich and poor? Oh, sorry, I, 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 because I think that man pot here. was here. I, 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 I think we couldn't get the board up. Uh, so it's smoky up here, over to the, the right, but not terribly far over to the rich hand side. So I would say if you've got nine squares, which we have here, I don't know if you can make it out here, I would say it's probably sitting about halfway up between smoky and the halfway line and almost halfway across. So almost if you take that small square, a quarter, almost in the centre of that, I think, because it's not overly smoky. I think it's a very, very pleasant peak. So that was uh, the day without saying it confusion. For Graham's ears, it gets a seal of approval as well. <laughs> all three do. Uh, I like to think they get them all because it meets Alexa Whiskey's. Yeah, it's not there's bad only, There's one or, one or two, uh, I, I've thought, which get the seal of approval, but uh, no such thing as a bad whiskey yet. No, I mean, some are better than others. I was, uh, I was just I was looking up some notes on the Ledeg, and of course some of the comments were such that I don't think it was fair because it's not everybody's cup of tea, you know, so you're, like you're the cry in the whiskey when other people like it. So if you don't like it, the point is maybe don't be negative yeah. and just don't leave no, a comment. That, it's not right. your cup of tea. It, it, it's a 10-year-old whiskey, and, and Edredor, again, just a standard Edredor is one of my favourites. Uh, as you know, it's my, my favourite distillery. Uh, but it's only a 10 year old, but there's so much going on it. And, and for a 10 year old mm -hmm. whiskey, I think there's lots in that. I, I think the buttery, the waxiness, the, the cigar smoke, mm -hmm. lots in it in, in yeah, that yeah. 10 years. So, yeah, I, I, I rate it quite highly. I, I do like it. It's the first time I've tried it. But back to this one, I'm, I'm liking the nose on this one. Mm -hmm. Orange marmalade right away. Real toffee, rich toffee, millionaire shortbread. Oh, look at myself, millionaires. He would like yeah. that. No, your poor side, Graham. Uh, Susan uh, Innes is asking, where is the best place to store whiskey? Well, you could store it with me if you want. It depends <laughs> if you want it back or not. Uh, away, away from heat, Susan, uh, out of direct sunlight, and it doesn't impact on the flavour. It just cuts actually the chance of the evaporation of it. So a nice cabinet, nice cupboard out of the way, uh, but certainly out of direct sunlight and away from direct light. And again, one of the yeah. biggest uh, problems you see in pubs is they'll have the spotlights at the top of your bar, mm -hmm. and that it's usually for some reason the high end whiskey is expensive, whiskey at the top of the bar, it's sitting under these lights, and it actually warms it up. 
and, and I don't like it warm mm. uh, particularly and it actually evaporates yeah, quicker same, the, same with wines when you go yeah. into bars as well yeah, it's yeah, the, yeah. So, so just keep it out of direct sunlight away from the heat or oh, give them to uh, us and uh, we'll... uh, uh, I, I'm quite happy storing it for you yes uh, in my belly <laughs> in my belly <laughs> so where, where were we I forgot who we were uh, really it's like knowing your shortbread really a really rich caramel toffee mm -hmm. chocolatey orange peel marmalade Fatty coming peel. through Honey, rich, rich honey, uh, uh, almost uh, like uh, syrup, uh, uh, syrupy. What's is, it, is, it Lyle, is it Lyle's or golden syrup? Golden syrup, Lyle's. Tate and Lyle's. Oh, no, Tate and Lyle's. Is it golden syrup? Yeah. I think that's a real sweet nose. That's I do lovely. have a passion for the rich, um, not wealthy, the rich fiskies mm -hmm. from there. So a wee taste of this and look forward to it. And this is your Christmas present and birthday present rolled into one tonight. Long, as long as a bottle. Oh. You got a bit of spice coming through Ooh. that right away. A bit of spice. Ooh. Ooh. That's um, lovely. <laughs> Ooh. It's almost like smoky, but it's not smoky. But it just hits mm. you. A, a bit spicy, a bit nutty. Nutty, nutty, nutty. Um, Hazelnuts, well, yeah, yeah nuts, nuts, oh, hazelnuts. Oh, if you say, it, 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 it's like velvety. It really mm, it has a velvety mm -hmm. flavour coming through. Caramel, chocolate. Uh, again, the marmalade coming through from there, real, real rich marmalade, like, like the, the thick cut stuff, the dark yeah. stuff, it, it just in the, in the, the orange peel. It, really, that is, well, that's, that's what I like. That's a cracking dram, that. That's uh, a, a nice, and I, I think it'll even improve it. And you should see the, oh, oh, Mr. Glass here. <laughs> oh, too much already, eh? He's <laughs> holding it up too, too high to see. Yeah, it's a wee touch. Always, I you don't have to put a, 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 a me sugar in it after you put water in, but I just think it actually mixes it in. Mm -hmm. It just gets uh, the oil separated properly and just balances it out. Take it back to your nose. Oh, yeah, mm. that's just uh, yeah, it's lovely. Knowing your shortbread, the sweetness, Andy uh, Gahuli would love that velvet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Andy's not getting any. No, 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 <laughs> I'll need to buy it for next week. Yes, again, the marmalades. In, in, in fact, it, it's really sweet and. The water sweetens it, whereas without the water, it was more mm -hmm. It's more like the syrup now, the golden syrup. Yeah, really, a sweet treacle coming through. Uh, orange. There's there's a, another fruit coming through here as well now, just with a touch of water in it. Mm -hmm. Peach, peach. That's what it is. It's peach. Mm. I was actually surprised myself on that one. Well done, you. Yeah, that that's. Sorry, I can't help. <laughs> I'm salivating over this one. That's a lovely <laughs> drop, this. See the selection of whiskies you've actually got here in the Mercury Grill. Everybody can't wait to get back to the pub open so they can taste all these good yeah. stuff. It, it, the, the water just opens it up. Really velvety, fruity red apples coming through now. It, it, it's almost like peachy. It's, it's a rich mm -hmm. fruit. Almost a bit of a Christmas cake coming through now. But the caramel rich honey syrupy and if that's not your cup of tea if you're a peaty a real peaty like a villain or big drinker you may not particularly like that oh i, think but I can't see how you wouldn't like that yeah you know, I, I would feel I, to see how you wouldn't I, like yeah, it but I, you know what yeah, i mean people like, like andy up, likes his port charlotte they, they, they wouldn't say you dislike it but your preference is still going to be peaty smoky i i think that is, is certainly that's one of the best whiskies i've had in a long long time I've got to be honest with you, that is with a touch of water in it, is absolutely fantastic. Um, is it worth a hundred pound a bottle? Is anyone worth a hundred pound a bottle? Uh, probably I, <laughs> probably to be, to be fair, but that is a, a fantastic, fantastic whiskey. Uh, red orangey signet, I couldn't remember the name yet, so I'll need to remember that myself. Before we get so, it's a cracker, definitely yeah, a good yeah, jam. Yes. Jam, jam. Yeah. I'm jamming. I want to jam it with you. Anyway, before have we done the one, two, three? No, we're just going to do I that. Do that. Yeah. Right. Um, I, I, I would go Inchmurrin, my top one. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ladeg, second. Oh, that's interesting. And Tom and Tool, third. Oh. In, in, in fact, if I, I was going to be quite honest, I'll probably say. Inchmurrin stuck out for me. Another two were about the same for him. Mm -hmm. Very, very tight. Very, very close. But Inchmurrin, I, I just thought, uh, yeah. edged it. I think that was a really, really good first game. That was certainly unexpected for me, then yeah. yeah, It really it, was it a curveball. Was. I didn't Lidig, see that Lidig one coming. for a 10 year old. Yeah. Excellent. Tom and Joe, uh, that's nothing on for me. I, I, I enjoyed all three today. Yeah. All yeah. three. But I've got to say, the 
director's job, <laughs> the, the Glenn Morangy signet. Uh, so there it. they go. But again, you're, you're paying for that. So, so yeah. Uh, and it just showed this is unaged. I think it was unaged anyway. Yeah, it will be unaged. Brian Johnston's so. coming in tomorrow night to have a few doubles, he said. Yeah, well, put many people on by the bar for me, Brian, right. if you didn't mind. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. So, so, yeah, all three passed. Two, three, one. Uh, in that order, I'm going to say. Yeah, Brian I'll, I'll, things, I, I, I would probably say Steven, three and one was very equal. Two and, and, and a, a, a draw. But Brian Light, two, one, three. If, if I had to. Change them two, three, one. Two, three, one. Like that. Very yeah. good. Well done. Right, it's excellent. Thanks very much, Neil, for that. That was a good informative evening. I certainly was looking forward to trying these two. I'd never tried them, so it was great. Yeah. Again, what this is all about trying no whiskey. No don't hesitation in buying all yeah. three. Anywhere. Yeah, yeah That's fantastic whiskey. Really good choice. Perfect. Even though I say it myself. <laughs> well done. Well done. So, a good show. Anything else before we get ourselves wrapped up there, guys? Uh, next week's whiskey is uh, Glen Fiddick 15. Deanston which is like part of these guys yeah. should maybe get a uh, Brian is it Brian the brand ambassador we'll work on that for oh next yeah, week. yeah yeah yeah, yeah, uh, yeah I forgot Brian, uh, yeah. Yeah. he's based in Deanston isn't he yeah yeah, yeah that's uh, Glenfiddich 15 uh, Deanston I, I don't know if it's aged but it's a Bordeaux red wine cast mm -hmm. so I think that'll be quite interesting and we'll get finished with an Arbeg so we might have Dr Bill as well to Billy Willie uh, if we can get the bath yeah. It is a bubble bath oh, and an ad bag Anoa. Again, it's an expression I'd never heard of before, but it looked quite interesting. So that's the three choices for next week. So look forward to seeing everyone that's try it. some different whiskers again next week. Please, guys, can you get your orders in earlier for us just to help us out? It was a bit chaotic here at the market and poor yeah. Andy Pandy <laughs> rocked up and uh, I was doing my Basil Faulty, as Scott Watson knows, it went crazy today. Uh, a pub start, start opening next week, next Wednesday, Thursday, so maybe some of you could come and join us. You'd be more than welcome. Just don't put us off or scare us. It's bad enough here, you know. I get uh, both enough for him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but at that point, is where you could always come up and pick up your whiskeys on the Thursday or Friday if you yeah. want to say hello. So that's it from us, Tati Peel, Absolutely. Gregory. Thank you very much yeah, for everything. Uh, lovely, lovely to see Jean, Jean Luc. Maybe I'll yeah, we'll come back. For a while, so we'll we don't want to see him again. again. I don't know. He's good right. company. And if I buys drink more than you do, so ah. he's a good lad. <laughs> anyway, so what we're going to see, Tati Peel? Slange. Slange.